Greetings, ladies. So nice to be here with you today. I am feeling so inspired. I'm feeling really inspired. And I just wanted to share some of that with you guys. I wanted to spread the love. I decided to dye my hair again. And I know when I started this channel a month ago, I told y'all I wasn't going to be doing any more dyeing. I have been dyeing consistently for about two years now. And I've taken probably the last, I guess maybe it's been three or four months off. Hair was kind of feeling a little not as loved on as usual. So I started putting my uh, moisturizer, my, my essential oil blend that I showed you guys how to make. And it's literally, y'all, it's just starting to feel almost like home again. Not quite, not quite. I'm inspired. This is the color that I used before. This is um, Vidal Sassoon, the London Luxe series, and the color is Runaway Red. I want to say I used five boxes of these when I normally do it. I know, right? That's a lot of color. But I, I chose um, to get four today because what I think I'm going to do this time, is, I know y'all can count, what I'm going to do this time is use... Um, a little bit I'm gonna I'm gonna try to blend it a little differently than what I normally do I'm going for a Mitch Mac look this time uh, normally when I do it and I'll put a picture up I had a video of when my hair was really red it's really really bright and it's very very bright initially and usually one time I, I dyed it when my hair was already damp and it seemed to be like uh, like bam red like bright 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 I think I want to tone it down just a little bit of course it's not gonna be this color because of where I'm starting out and I don't have any bleach in my hair. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna do a little less and I'm gonna do more of a hodgepodge kind of thing around my head. So for all of you guys who are watching this video, know that whatever the outcome is, I'm gonna be satisfied with it. I'm looking for a Mitch Mac look. We're coming into the fall and this is looking too wintry for me. I need something that's more exciting. I need to look like the color of the leaves. Okay, and this says it's supposed to last for eight weeks. It does me about eight to 10 weeks of decent color because I don't wash my hair a lot when I have it in here. And I don't rinse, 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 rinse in the shampoo stage until I don't see any more red. Because if I do that, I'm gonna be in there for like 10 hours trying to get all the red out. But I wanted you guys, I wanted to share something else with you today that I felt was even more pr profound. This is kind of a gift to me, but I also received a few other gifts today. I'm um, getting ready to do my second, not my second time, but for the week, uh, sage uh, rushing and clearing, not only me, but my home and my space. The next new moon is coming up, so I'm gonna make a video about this. That'll be on my Butterfly Transformations channel. And then I got my, I'm getting ready to do my solar water. So I got my indigo bottle today, and I wanna share some of the wealth of information about this. I'm gonna do a video about that as well. But something else happened today that really inspired me that I said, you know what? Share that with your sister. Share that with the sisters who um, might visit the channel. So if you're gonna stick for the rest of the video, it's gonna be a little bit more inspirational. Um, and I'm hoping to touch the heart of you in the way that something today touched my heart, which kind of made me say, you know what? I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna color my hair again. And so be it. If I have this beauty light red for the next eight weeks, I'm gonna beauty the hell out of it. I'm gonna milk it for every red pigment that it's worth. I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of it. And if you guys know, I've been in this space, especially really since I, I closed my school down about a year ago and stepped fully into my creative passion of healing and coaching. And, um, really been doing a lot of creative work and really expressing myself so that's what i want to do so i had a healing session today with a lady and i've seen her several times and she's going through some things like a lot of us go through in our journey back to self and um you know man trouble type stuff and it's the kind of thing that touched my heart because it reminded me of the journey i think that all of us women go through at some point and it's that that thing where you accept less than what you know you should be accepting and you over rationalize and you overcompensate and you step outside of yourself and sometimes that results in you dishonoring 
um, your very nature and dishonoring and maybe in a way being disloyal to the things that you really want for your life and the things you really want to leave behind. You know what I'm saying? When you get into a space where sometimes you find yourself accepting relationships that don't do you justice, that don't feel good, and you find yourself instead of moving away from things that don't make you feel good, you end up moving towards things that don't make you feel good. And oftentimes they have to do with relationships. In some cases, it could be your job. You know, you continue to go to a job that physically makes you ill, that makes you feel unhappy, one that you're very dispassionate about, or you go home to a, a marriage or a relationship that makes you ill, that makes you anxious, that keeps you up at night, or maybe you're in a, a relationship with, a, with another person that actually hurts more than it feels good. So she's kind of going through that, and we talked a bit. And at the end of all of my sessions, I always have the ladies to pull a card um, from the affirmation deck or from any type of deck that 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 has affirmations and, and wealths and pearls of wisdom in it. Just something to go away and reflect on. And the card that she pulled, because the card that you pull represents a divine piece of guidance that you're supposed to receive that day, or it represents something that you need to hear. And so the card said um, self-respect and when um, I read the card I was not I had turned away to 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 let the light come in through the window to see so my back was to her but I could feel the energy as I read the card and it was confirmed by our session ending I could feel a shift in energy and the card really impacted us I feel and I just wanted to share it with you guys the card says um, self-respect and the quote is, there's no need to compromise your self-respect for love or security. And it says, whether you're in a relationship or not, self-respect is the key to how other people perceive and treat you. I want to make sure y'all can hear this. Sometimes self-respect may seem to take you down a lonely road, but even that part of the journey is worthwhile. If you aren't willing to speak up for what you believe in, walk away from situations that are damaging to you, and act from your own integrity, how can anyone else truly know or care for you? At times it's tempting to compromise your self-respect for security or survival. As a short-term measure, this may be necessary while you get your life in order, but as a long-term measure, this is unhealthy for you and your heart and your soul. You've drawn this card today because the universe would like to have you look at the ways you've compromised yourself in the past or present in order to secure or maintain a relationship. I think that's something we all as women can relate to. Like at some point we've been in a space where we didn't feel good and we felt um, the dis-ease just coming as an ebb and a flow and a current that just a cycle that we were caught up in that just wouldn't like let us out of its clutches. Real life and spiritual growth are not about taking the convenient path. In fact, love and spiritual growth often demand that we face challenging situations in order to confirm our commitment to what we say we want. Most people breach their own integrity and compromise their self-respect from time to time. Living a fulfill fulfilling life is not about being perfect. It's about acknowledging what is and choosing a healthier course of action from now on. When you live your truth, a life of integrity and self-respect are the natural outcomes and your angels, spirit guides, and the entire universe are standing by to help you attain that level of quality and fulfillment. Ask for their help and act on their guidance and the urging of your own tuition, gut, and heart. And right before um, I read the card at the end of our session, because during the session I was feeling her need to listen to her intuition and that that wasn't happening. So at the end of the session, I played the singing bowl that correlates with the third eye, which is the ancient part of your wisdom. And it helps you to, to harmonize that energy that allows you to more go within and listen to your inner wisdom. So hearing that in the car was something that resonated. And then when we counseled before the session, that really resonated. Again, because I was talking about moving away from things that don't serve us in relationships and the patterns that we have. So it really, it, it, it really touched me because I can see that in my life in the past before I've gotten to where I am today. And I always say this life starts at 40 because I remember those goddamn dirty thirties and I don't want to go back. 
and I'm 47 now and I'm feeling better, I'm looking better, I'm living better, and I'm more of myself than I ever was, but I look at the journey that it took to get there. So I wanted to share that with you ladies today just to remind you that if you're settling in your life for something and you know that you deserve better, don't settle. Trust in God, trust in the universe, whatever you refer to the creator as. Trust in your higher knowing. Listen to your intuition, that tiny little voice within you that's trying to encourage you to move away from that because it doesn't feel good or it's trying to caution you from getting further entangled in something that is not in your best interest. I wanted to say that and I wanted to say something else in this spirit of just being inspired you guys know, I think I mentioned this, this is one of three channels that I fired up within the last month or so. And the new moon is coming up again. So in about four days, plant your intentions if you're one of those moon people, because this is what the energy is. I'm just simply flowing with the energy and all sorts of wonderful things are manifesting. But I have a sister and I'm saying half sister just because um, we share a different father but she's not really my half sister. When I think about it, she is my soul family. She's beyond my biological family. Like we have people that we come into this world to journey with and we're born into that family. But a lot of times everybody in that family is not our soul family. When you find someone that's in your soul family, you resonate with them and they understand you and they support you. We talk literally guys, maybe once or twice a year, I gotta do better. But today I open up my mail because she sent me a text the other day and she asked me for my address. And I wanted to say, Lori, why, why are you asking for my address? But I didn't. So I said, okay, well, maybe she's, you know, because she's, her mother has cancer. She's going through a lot. And this is what I get in the mail today, right? And I'm looking at this and I'm like, wow. So I pick up the card, you guys, and this is what I get. And it touches my heart because it reminds me, number one, there's somebody's life that I'm making a difference in, even if it's only one person. There's somebody's life that you are making a difference in. There's something that you're doing that's having an impact on somebody and you don't even realize that on a day-to-day -day basis. And whatever it is, you keep doing it and you feel good about it because every little thing that you can do to put a positive vibration into this beautiful universe and world that we live in is doing better than just sitting back and not expressing anything. So I get this today and it says, Tanisha, nope, I may not talk to you weekly, monthly, or yearly, but that doesn't mean I'm not learning from you. From afar, I'm able to see you trying new things, stepping out on faith, learning new skills, helping women be and do better, as well as balancing being a wife and mother. Thank you, big sis, for being the example. You inspire me to give things a try just because uh, just because it makes me happy or feel good about life. I've been painting for the past few months and thought to paint this for you. It depicts power, grace, beauty, stableness, and oh, and a grace to overcome any obstacles, all of which you possess. Continue being you and shining your light with others. In case you haven't noticed, her hair is in the shape of Africa. <laughs> So I looked at this and when I put these two together, it even just resonated with me even more. But I got to be honest, it, it put me in tears because it just reminded me that sometimes when you're doing something different, you don't always feel and get the support of the people who are closest to you. The people who you would think would be the ones who would rally behind you. Sometimes it takes you to continue to walk that lonely road and continue to journey and believe in yourself and then things come full circle. So it just reminded me um, how you never know who's watching and you never know whose life you're really impacting. And I wanted to share that with y'all today. So if you made it through to this part of the video, then you're supposed to get that message. Like you're supposed to know to go out there to shine, to do what you love, to spread love in the world, to be who you are fearlessly and unapologetically, and to be, to stand fully in your divine feminine. You know, be that magnet, feel sexy, feel good, feel receptive, feel compassionate, 
feel love, give love, give nurturing, give support, be the essence of who you really and truly are, what you were created to be. And you can have any and everything you want. You can create your own little paradise. And this, you guys are part of my abundance. I swear, I will lie, you guys are part of my abundance. Everything that you're doing that you enjoy that brings in positive vibration is a part of your wealth and a part of your abundance. And I'm feeling extremely abundant. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. I love you. Thank you so much for just validating, for just validating and, and holding the space for what it is that I'm doing. And if it's making a difference for you in any way at all, these locks or whatever it is that I'm talking about or whatever it is that I'm sharing, I am so freaking honored. I'm really honored and I love you guys. So I'm going to do this tonight. I'm going to let you see part of the preparation. And when I put it in, then I'm going to wash my hair. And I also bought these lock loops, I think they're called. And I'm going to try these lock loops. Now, I want to get to the lock loops tonight. I'm hoping because I have an event on Saturday that I have to be ready to speak at and I want to look vibrant. So I'm going to try to get to those tonight because I don't know what they're going to look like. I usually do. You guys have seen me do the pipe cleaners. They're very reliable. I know exactly what they're going to look like. This other thing, I don't know what it's going to look like. So I want to try to get to it tonight. And this is a big job because my hair is really big. Again, just to repeat, it's not, I'm not going to do a typical dye job. I'm just going to pull hair and take some here, take some there, take some here, take some there. I will probably try to get most of my crown consistently. So for those of you who are looking for a perfect color job, you're not going to find it here. You'll need to look somewhere else. Y'all know I'm really kind of fly by the seat of my pants. I do things based on inspiration and I'm kind of impulsive like that. That's what makes me me. So again, I love you. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Um, if there are questions you have about this dye, oh yeah, maybe price. This was $10.49. Um, it's usually closer to nine or eight ninety nine. It's gone up a little. It can be hard to find. I used to be able to get it often at Walmart. I haven't been able to find it there lately, although you can order it online. I did about a year and a half ago. I got this one today from Walgreens. CVS does not have it where I where I live. Vidal Sassoon is not for me in this area of Atlanta the easiest product to find. But yes, it was $10.49. And of all the other dyes that were actually in there on the shelf that were two for 17, this one was not. And I tell you, everything else over there was that price. And I think this was the only Vidal Sassoon that, that I actually saw today. Everything else was L'Oreal and soft and beautiful and dark and lovely. So anyway, peace and love to you guys. Thank you for sitting here and sharing this. Have a great day.